Good morning, Sean from Aberystwyth here, and it's uh, Tuesday morning, 27th of December, just after 8 o'clock, and I'm booking on for my shift, my 12 hour shift today for Blood Bikes Wales. And shortly I'll be choosing one of these bikes to take out for my day's work for Blood Bikes Wales. So here are the two bikes I'm going to choose from either the Triumph or the BMW, I'll probably choose the Triumph. I like the Triumph, it's very similar to the bike I normally ride myself. So I've carried out all the safety checks, check the tyres, lights, everything's working and all the kit that I need for the, for the shift today is on the bike and then I'll get home with the controller, tell him what my start mileage is and what bike I'm riding and he'll tell me or she'll tell me what jobs I've got to do. So as you can tell, I'm a rider for Blood Bikes Wales. I've been riding for 15 months now. And as I said before, this is my last shift of the year. I had a shift last Friday night, and which was busy. And then I did a 12 hour shift on uh, Christmas Eve as well. So what service do Blood Bikes Wales provide? We're a charity that provides the NHS with a free courier service. We tend to work on weekends, evenings, bank holidays like today and anything that the NHS want has to transport from one place to the other like medication, blood samples, that sort of stuff from hospitals to patients or hospitals to path labs, hospitals to uh, the blood bank uh, as well as breast milk as well. Lots of people don't realise that we carry uh, breast milk. We uh, go and collect it from donors, addresses, take it down to the uh, milk bank and then when the neonatal units want breast milk we collect it from the bread, uh, milk bank and uh, take them to the neonatal units to feed the young children there. We've also got controllers. Uh, controllers are a very difficult job. Uh, they sit at home and every hospital, every ward in Wales has got the blood bikes number and anybody is able to ring up that number and request our assistance. So when the controller gets a job from one of the hospitals one of the labs from the milk bank, he contacts the uh, local rider and hands out the job and uh, we take the job on. We uh, tell our controller once we've picked up the package, we deliver it and we tell our controller we've delivered it as well. So uh, they've got a good idea where we are and uh, know where to look for us if uh, we haven't spoken to them for a while. So what do I get out of this? Uh, nothing at all other than the satisfaction of doing my bit. We don't get paid, we don't get expenses. I'm off for 12 hours today. If I'm out and I have to buy my own food, well, I buy my own food. If I buy my own tea, I buy my own tea. And there are no expenses paid out. All the money's raised by our uh, fundraisers, goes towards running the bikes, maintenance, tires, or all that sort of stuff. Um, just to show that we don't waste any money at all, I have my name badge here. And every uh, December we have to rejoin Blood Bikes and every December I have to pay for that badge. I know, it's crazy, but we don't want to, we don't want to waste money on badges when uh, it can go towards the petrol and tyres on the bike. So what can you do to help us? Well, you can volunteer. You could uh, come volunteer and be a motorcyclist like myself, carrying this medication or blood samples around the country. Um, you could become a controller and work a couple of shifts a month controlling the 10, 11 bikes that might be out in Wales at any one time. Or if you don't want to do that, you could become a volunteer raising money for us to keep this vital service going. And I say vital service, lots of people don't realise what we do, but all the people in the different hospitals that we turn up to know what we do and they really appreciate what we do. They would be in trouble if uh, we weren't around. It would cost the NHS a lot of money if we weren't here. In the last 15 months, I, if I finish at 8 o'clock at night, I would have um, worked 336 hours uh, in 15 months, or covered 336 hours in 15 months. For nothing, I'm not after anything, but you imagine if you worked for the NHS and you had to pay me, or if I worked for the NHS and they had to pay me for those 336 hours, how much money that would cost. And I'm only one little cog, but 10, 11 bikes out at one time. So they'd have to pay all these motorcyclists today. Um, but at the moment, they don't pay us anything at all. We're not after money, but we save the NHS a lot of money. Uh, but it costs us a lot of money to keep everything going as well. 
So what's a typical shift uh, on blood bikes rails? Well, let's talk about last Friday night. Wet and windy night. Very much like it's going to be today. It's going to be chucky down rain today in strong winds. So, uh, it's going to be a lovely day if I get cold out. But last Friday night, uh, I started at five o'clock. And uh, as soon as I booked on, I had three jobs to do that night. The first job was to uh, go to uh, Bronglice and pick up medication and take it to an address in Fairbourne. Um, which is just about the furthest north uh, that we, we cover from Aberystwyth. So I uh, went to pick up the medication from the Dubby Ward and then uh, headed out towards Fairbourne. Uh, once I delivered that, my next job then was uh, to call in a Towin Hospital and pick up blood samples from there and bring them back to Bronglice to the pathology lab uh, in Bronglice. And then from uh, the path lab in Bronglice, uh, I took part in the relay to take blood samples down to Pontaclean to the blood uh, bank in Pontaclean so that um, the right bloods could be brought back the next day for patients in Bronglice. So, uh, the relay consisted of three different blood bikes. I, I took my sample down to uh, Atlangerig and the uh, Paris rider then took it down towards uh, Breck and I met up with the uh, Cardiff rider, um, Breck, and between Breck and Merthyr I think it was, uh, who took it down then to Pontaclean. Uh, I got back about quarter past ten, um, soaking wet, uh, but it was a good it was a good shift I was busy all day and I worked a 12 hour shift on Saturday and would you believe nothing came in until about five o'clock on Saturday evening and I had to go and get samples from Tregaron Hospital and bring them into the bath lab in Aber. and uh, it had been dry all day the sun had been shining I went out and of course it started raining and I went through biblical weather thunderstorms lightning you name it uh, I went through it on um, Saturday night, but then again, that's the job, you know. Uh, the only time we don't actually go out is when there's, um, the temperature goes below freezing, where, they, where we could have uh, ice and snow and things like that on the road, so we don't go out then, but otherwise we do. It's just part of the uh, joys of being a motorcyclist. I know volunteering isn't for everybody, but uh, you don't have to volunteer. Just when you see a blood bike's wheels uh, pot in, the, in a post office or a shop or anything like that, put your change in there, help keep us going. You never know when uh, we may be going up to your auntie, uncle, or whatever with medication to the house because they're too ill to get out. We carry a lot of chemo medication to uh, people's home addresses so they don't have to come into the hospital to get medica to uh, have the medication. Um, it could be one of your relatives who turn up and knock on the door and say, you know, here's your medication, you know, hope you're well. Lots of these people don't see anybody from day to day. We spend a bit of time talking to them as well, just cheering them up a little bit, you know. Hopefully cheering them up a little bit, perhaps they don't want to see us. You never know, do you, you know, but we try our bit. Good, we do our bit, but, um, you know, if you have got a few spare coins, I know cost of living crisis and all that, I know, I fully appreciate, and money is tight, but if you are going to give to a charity, Give to Blood Bikes Wales, you know, I'm telling you now, all the money that you give to us, we use running these motorcycles and getting a medication and blood samples from A to B. Nothing is going to spend anywhere else. Anyway, I'm going to stop lecturing now. Hope you've had a good Christmas and New Year. And um, see you on the other side.